a hunt I will never forget. Well, welcome to Finding America. It is really great to see you here. Now, this past week, I had a little bit of free time, and what better way to spend your free time than go out and do some metal detecting. So I decided to go to a spot that I have hunted quite a bit in the past, but with the fresh rainfall and the six inch coil on my Mine Lab Equinox 800 that I got from our friends at Kellyco, I had a fun couple hours of detecting. Well, this one was giving me a pretty nice high tone, about 25 to 27. Pop the plug and this is it. Looks like an old buckle. So I'm gonna flip it over. I uh, don't think it has much of a design on it, but it's definitely old. I'll get it cleaned up when I get home, get you a better look at it, but that's yeah, pretty decent little find. I got something pretty cool right here. It's giving me a pretty decent little high tone, 23, 24. And I think I've got some type of uh, baggage tag. I think on this side, and that, on this side it says uh, owner's name and address inside. But when I flipped it over, it has, I think, Stratford. Oh, wow. I think it says European Hotel. Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, that's awesome. The Stratford European Hotel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is uh, some kind of hotel tag. Oh man, that is awesome. Well, this one was giving me a 14 and I cleaned it off a little bit. I it's an old ring. And it's got a little black centered portion with a heart shaped ring. So pretty cool right there. Just thought I'd share that one with you. Well, I'll tell you, going along, got a 16, 17, dug the plug and fished around the dirt. I got a nice little surprise there. Look at that. Musket ball. Really nice drop too. Ah, that's, I'm surprised because I haven't found anything this old in this spot before. It might have been a stray hunter back then, but or it could have been a Civil War soldier going through. But I will definitely take it. I like that. Now I was just thinking about that hotel tag that I just found. I said it was like a 2425. Actually, that was a 19. So I wanted to correct that. I was just thinking about that while I was digging this target, which was giving me a 15. And it's absolutely nothing exciting, but I know a lot of people find these and a lot of people don't know what they are. And I was one of those. For a long time, I didn't know what they were. And then I figured it out. This is actually the casing clip that goes on the end of a sausage. So, and there was one on each end and that's what that is. So if you find one, now you know. Well, this one was giving me a 20, 21 and dug down. I've been working on it a little bit. <laughs> And uh, it looks like it's a very early weedy that's been laid on a railroad track and hold. So, pretty cool. Definitely has some character to it. But, uh, I'll try to clean it up, see if I can get a date off, but I'm not holding my breath on this one. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. This is a very cool signal here. This is giving me like a 22, 23. And I dug down and I saw this and I'm like, oh man, bottle cap. Then I'm like, I saw the edge. I'm like, oh, it's a 10. And then I flipped it over. Check it out. Saw some wording, so I cleaned it up. But it says Kohler One Night Corn Salve. 
and it's made in Baltimore, Maryland. I guess it's corns on your feet, but I don't know if that was the sample tin or that's how they supplied it, but that is very cool. And hopefully I'll be able to date it. Probably going to be mm, 30s, maybe 20s, I don't know. But very cool item. Well, this Saturday, I knew I was going detecting, and I couldn't resist. I had to go back to that amazing spot on the hillside that I featured in some of my past videos recently. Now, I will say one thing. This hunt was like no other hunt that I've had at this site, and I really hope you enjoy watching this one. Well, this is a pretty odd recovery here. I was getting a nice big 13 signal. I dig all of them, and... Uh, <laughs> I saw this and I started pulling it out and check it out it's got this whole length of chain still attached well, how cool is that I have no idea what that went to I don't know if it's horse tack or I don't know but it's definitely very old and uh, I just like it cool piece with a lot of character so I'll be taking that one home with me and uh, just had to share that one with you Well, I actually really, really like this next signal. Uh, it's another piece from the kids that used to play here. We found a lot of toys on this hillside in uh, some previous videos. This one, boy, I tell you, I almost didn't dig it, but it was, it was just such a little squeaker high tone. It was coming in pretty good, but man, it was 12 inches down. I thought it might be a really deep nail, but it didn't turn out to be, but you can see how deep this is. And check it out, isn't that cool? It's a little aluminum cup from a little playset. So I just think that's really cool. Kind of goes with some of the other things we found here. And uh, I definitely wanted to show you that one. Well, this one was giving me a 17. Kind of interesting. I thought I'd show it to you. I don't think I've ever seen a bullet like this. Look at that sucker. At least not a, uh, eh, unfired. Pretty cool. I definitely had to show you that one. Well, this one was giving me a 2324. It was funny because I think the last time we were out here, I got some old glass fuses, and I told Chris I like the ones that have the early patent dates on them. And uh, all the ones I were finding were 30s and 40s, kind of modern. Uh, but not this time. I actually dug one up, and this is an early fuse. It actually has a patent date of 1897 and 1911 on it. That is really cool. I don't think I've actually gotten one with a patent date in the 1800s before. So I am definitely hanging on to this one, get it cleaned up. And, uh, yep, going into my uh, collection of weird stuff. <laughs> well, I actually had been swinging around for quite a while and not finding a whole lot. I was getting a little dejected and I was thinking about throwing the towel in and just calling it a day. But if there's one thing I can't stand is giving up. And so I decided I was going to swing for a couple more hours before the sun set. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll switch out the 15 inch coil that I've been using and put the six inch coil. Maybe that would change my luck. For some reason I decided, no, I'm going to keep the big coil on it. And I am so glad that I decided to keep hunting and to keep that big coil on because I may have never swung my coil over one of the most incredible holes that I've ever dug. Oh man, I'm gonna tell you something. This is why you never, ever, ever give up. I have been swinging for three hours, not finding much. And then I just, 
came along and I got a 2627 signal very deep I mean 12 inches it was buried this is the most incredible thing it is absolutely unbelievable I dug down and I scooped out a bunch of dirt and look look at what is in my dirt they're all sash buckles <laughs> it's like a it's a hoard they're stacked on top of each other I just can't get over it look look at this look at that and then here's another one here's another one <laughs> and then look here they were stacked on top of each other and they just slid down look at this oh my gosh there's one stuck on the bottom of this one holy cow and believe it or not this looks like the matching side to the one I found in the last video oh my gosh look here another one look at the gold gilt look at oh wow oh my gosh look at that one <sighs> and another one look at this oh my gosh and let me tell you oh there's another one <laughs> this is insane oh I'm losing count <sighs> but look oh my gosh there's another one in the hole oh check it out it's look at this oh my gosh I, what the heck is going on here all right there are more in the hole I just I just can't get over it oh I just can't get over it I'll tell you what guys I don't know I am freaking out I am so freaking out man uh, I don't I don't know how many that were, at least nine ten of them so far incredible let me dig down I'm by myself today Lord I wish Chris could see this this is nuts I've never been to a place like this so many sash buckles and these are all in one hole it's just crazy all right I'm gonna stop blabbing I'm gonna start digging a little bit more I'll be right back I know there's one or two more at least oh man this is so well this is so awesome I just dug another scoop full out and three sash buckles were in there look at this one and this one I can't even tell what designs they are but wait until you see this one. Oh my gosh this is incredible look at this look at this look at the dangling piece look at the gold on this oh my lord oh that was a that's a brooch you can see the pin on the back but look at that oh sorry had it out of frame I'm telling you to look at it look <laughs> I'm pretty excited oh my gosh and you know what it's still going off I think I have 15 I don't even know this is incredible uh, I'll be right back I'm gonna pull some more out hopefully oh amazing amazing okay there are some of them right there I know it's a little hard to see but I think there's 13 there there's still some in the dirt here but I pulled out another scoop full you I mean look at these look at this beautiful brooch gold tone I got three more came out look at this one look at that oh my goodness look at this and here's another one this one had some sort of cameo or stone in it so there's three more right there and they're I mean it's, it, this is insane watch this they're all over down there I mean I'm, I'm about 16 inches it's getting crazy there's a there's a piece to one see there's a little one of the little bars to it it's I have never experienced anything like this not with sash buckles you gotta wonder you really do oh, I'm gonna get back to digging I'll be right back uh, I wish I had another pair of hands but I'll tell you what this is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen just uh, wait till I get these cleaned up I, I I'm stopping at Walmart to get some more apple cider vinegar <laughs> I actually had to widen the hole there's so many down there and I just hoping you can see this 
I just freed one. Oh, no, I freed two. <laughs> they were stacked on top of each other. Look at this. Oh my gosh, will you look at that beautiful sash buckle? Oh, oh my gosh, another one like the one I just found. Ah, oh, it's got the the bar on. What is this? This is incredible. Look at that. Wow. I'm just kind of stacking them up over here. Oh, it's just incredible. Oh, look at that one. Oh my. Let's see. Ah, there's one more at least. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta work really carefully, they're fragile. Well, I'll tell you what, just absolutely amazing. I think I got them all, oh boy. You know, when you have something like this, you never want that hole to end. <laughs> I fished out two more. Here's one, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And then another, I think I got three of these. Look at the gold that's on that thing. Unbelievable. These are all going to date from, oh shoot, 1870 to 1910. That's a pile of them. I don't know. I don't think I hit 20, but I came close. But I'll tell you what, that's insane. I'm glad I'm out in the field. <laughs> I could dig a hole like this. Holy cow, that was just absolutely incredible. Wow. Definitely, definitely. Not the way it started out, but it ended up being a day I am never going to forget. That is crazy. I can't wait to get these cleaned up so you can see them all laid out. Well, that was absolutely incredible, and I, I just couldn't believe it. I actually ended up finding more in that hole than I thought initially. I didn't count them until I got home, but when I counted them, I had found 21 pieces. That is just amazing amount of brooches and buckles to come out of one hole. And of course, the main question I'm sure everyone is thinking right now, how in the world did they get there? Well, I know a lot about the history of this place, and there were a couple old Victorian homes at the top of this hill. Now, they tore them down 10, 20 years ago, and perhaps there was a box of these buckles hidden inside the house or in the rafters or in one of the outbuildings, and they never found them before they tore them down. And perhaps the bulldozer buried part of them deep and scattered the others all across this site and I just found the main concentration. Well, no matter what, there's one thing I do know. That was one of the most incredible holes that I've ever dug, and what a blast I had. Well, I worked hard to get these cleaned up, and I think they turned out great. And I was actually able to reassemble many of them back into complete buckles. Now there was one sash buckle half that I recognized when I pulled it out of the hole as matching another one that I found in last week's video clear across the site about 50 yards away. Well, I think they turned out really nice and I just wanted to give you a look at all the pieces laid out, cleaned up and in full glory. Well, that was just an epic find, and what a way to end my day. And here's another look at the complete Victorian hoard all back together again. Well, when I was working on this video, I got to thinking about some of the things I really miss from when I was growing up as a kid. And even though I only got to do this one time, it made a huge impression on me. So I have some amazing historical photos 
of the days of the big tops of yesteryear, coming up in just a few seconds. And remember, it's history that makes a find a treasure. And I cannot wait to see you back here next week on Finding America.